Hi, my name is Sebastian from Shonko Music and I want to do a firmware update with my MPC-1 and I'm done doing this with a USB stick, I'm using a network cable. So I'm putting this into the machine and every time I'm reading there is a firmware update, it makes me very happy but also I'm a little bit afraid of having problems. <laughs> So I think every time this is a special moment. In my MPC-1 I'm using a Samsung 256 EVO SD card, of course with an adapter. And now I'm putting this into the machine, so a firmware, to do a firmware update is really nothing special. But now I think maybe I'm recording, but I don't want to do only a firmware update, I also want to do to activate the OP4X on this machine. So I am think I'm connected, my setup is like that, so for me now it's uh, fine to do it with an LAN cable. So to menu preferences, preferences, and you see the MPC firmware 2.11.6. So I go to update, I say online update, he's checking and now he says to me, okay, there's a new version. I say for now, okay, update, do we want to shut down? Yes, please update. Very nice. So, all what I have to do now is to pray and to wait <laughs> that this machine has no problem because um, I had other old gear and had uh, for my uh, MC307 from my groove box from Roland. Um, months ago a big problem, so I could reset it, but on the other side I'm often hoping when I'm doing a firmware update that there's no problem. So okay, <coughs> updating and I have also uh, another MPC, so I know what uh, firmware um, 2.11.9 uh, makes to your machine, so this is now, uh, this is my backup MPC-1 for some projects, so, but now I think it's time to do an update and always I do, don't do it uh, immediately when the firmware is uh, outside to download because sometimes I wait some days and I read if there are bugs or stuff like that. Okay, MPC firmware 2.0.9, it's okay, it's, uh, it's, it's finished. So. Now I want to try to activate uh, a plugin. I bought the OP4X and I will do it right now and maybe I can show you how I'm doing this. Now I want to activate a plugin. It's the MPC OPX4. I think I said OP4X, but <laughs> OPX4, this is the right name for this synthesizer plugin. It's a beautiful plugin. So I'm going to log in. I'm in preferences, activate plugins. And then I'm connected with my LAN cable to my network and it gives me a QR code and here on my phone I'm scanning this right now and go to akpro.com and I'm saying yes I'm doing this then it gives me a code and I have to continue on my account and I say yes and now he says, you have successfully signed in. You may now close this window. Okay, beautiful. Ah, and he's going to to my account. And now you can see all my plugins I have. I have bought the Fabric, the OPX4, Hype, Mellotron, Zolina, Odyssey are standard, the Mini D and the F Flavor Pro. So, and now I want to activate the OPX4, but first I want to change the drive to install the, yeah, okay, the, the, yes, I changed the MPC1, that's my SD card, so this is a pass to install that stuff, and now I'm activating this. And he says, yeah, it's activated, and now I can download this. And I think he's doing it automatically. Yeah, right. Okay. Very nice. Now it's downloading. This is beautiful. Extracting. 
That sounds also very good. <laughs> oh, and now it says, ah, finished. Okay, this looks nice. So I go back to my main menu and go to my plugins. I go to this one and I'm changing that. And now you see OPX4, he says, okay, it's, it seems usable. Sounds, edit instruments, and yes, very nice. I'm doing a restart and I want to check is everything fine. So I've disconnected the MPC1 from the network. So now it's fully standalone. And now I want to check is the OPX4 activated? And I'm sure it is. <laughs> But uh, in the last years, uh, with some gear after firmware update, I had sometimes problems. So now I'm checking it out. So I go to the plugin browser, plugin hype, and I'm looking. And yes, here the OPX4, and I can activate it. I can use it. That's the way what I want to say. And okay, I'll go back to change it to hype and I go to the sounds editor and here's a logo, nice, I can use it. I want to change here a sound uh, bell. Okay, this is also fine. Um, okay, edit instrument and yeah, here it is. And I can tap through all the menus, okay, beautiful, nice, and here the last one, I can choose. Beautiful, yeah, okay, fine. So I think now I can catch ideas and work with my MPC-1. So I hope it was a little bit interesting for you. That's the way how I do it and when I'm doing a firmware update. So yeah, thanks for watching. Have a nice day, have a great time and maybe I see you soon. So far I say for now, bye bye.